So, I just let you know, coming from my my opinion, my perspective as a man, I'm 27 years old, Gabriel Curtsy, no kids, you know what I mean, on and off relationship at the time, but we've been together for like 10 years now since high school and we're working on things and we're really good friends and coming from me i just want to let you guys know what i think men really feel about women the real men at least not the fake men not the bullshitters but what real men feel about women so coming from me starters really we feel like a lot of women lack proper communication you know and that's just me that what I've dealt with is a lack of communication and when that lack of communication usually occurs is in a case of like when you're upset when you're angry so let's talk about that when you get upset or angry a lot of women feel like it's a man's job to just automatically know what's wrong with them or to be able to solve the issue as to why they're angry. But also a lot of women don't want to um, sit down and talk about the issue or communicate and see what the real problem is and how to work it out. They just want the man to apologize and make up for it and make them feel better. Yeah, and in a lot of cases, if it's something small, I think it can be done that way. That's true. A man can just let it blow over because women women go through a lot more emotions than men do. And that's something that's understandable from my experience. Women do deal with more emotions. Now, something that I recently encountered that for my first time picking it up in my whole life, what a woman is... Uh, she got she wanted to see me. And I was like, yo, uh, I got something to do. I let her know what I had to do. It wasn't in a rude way. And then she got upset, got an attitude, got mad at me. And then I started the trip. But then I uh, took a moment. We wasn't on the phone. I took a moment. And then I was like, hmm. So I test her. And if you know a girl got enough fellas, then which if you fooling with a girl like that, you sleeping with her, or you doing anything like that, then you should be able to answer this question. I text her and I was like, hey, is it that time of the month? Are you on your period? Just text me back, yes or no. She texts back, yes. So I text back, oh, okay. Well, first of all, I apologize because I understand that it's that time of the month. So I know that you're going through different emotions and things right now. So really, you got to understand that you didn't communicate that to me. You should have told me that it was that time of the month because then I know that certain issues or certain things that you may trip over that you don't notice that you don't usually trip over that, you, that you're doing it now. I could have told you that and we wouldn't have any arguments. A lot of fellas don't realize when that time of the month comes that ladies sometimes can act different because it's so imbalance in their body that makes them get a little more emotional than normal. You know what I mean? Women can be G's on the normal, but at the same time, when that time of the month comes, the period, when they bleed in that waterfall, that red waterfall, you know what I mean? You got to be prepared for it, too. If you fool with her like that, then you got to understand that that's your problem, too. So, attitude might come with that shit. It don't stay there. You just got to be prepared. So, communication work on both ends. Now, should I had to ask her, hey, is it that time of the month? No, I don't feel like I should have because it's not for me to keep up with. But at the same time, once I did realize it and I made it aware, we was able to squash that little beef. We were starting up over nothing and then keep everything going. We saw each other the next day and we resumed naturally. So what I'm really trying to let you know is communication is key in all aspects of life, really. You got to communicate with each other. If you really communicate, like, really, whether you mad or not, then you'll solve a lot more shit than you would. Like, a lot of people fail in relationships, friendships, even, for, yeah, just business. Business uh, opportunities fail just because of lack of communication. If you feel like you have a misunderstanding, then try to get an understanding. Now, if you're dealing with a person that's like a brick wall and then you're not getting anywhere with them and not willing to communicate or try to work it out that way, and they're always just expecting you to go out your way to try to make them feel good and shit like that when you really did nothing wrong, 
then you shouldn't be around people like that. It's toxic people. And if you want toxic people in your life, then you shouldn't even be listening to what I'm saying. You know what I mean? Toxic people like to be around toxic people. So you need to remember that as well. If you like it, then you're toxic yourself. So that's where you belong. But otherwise, man, if y'all communicate nine times out of ten, you'll be making more money in life. You'll be having better sex. You'll have more friends if that's what you want. You'll feel better inside and out. And you'll understand that you're not going to make everybody happy. Your communication might cause somebody else to be upset because they're not on the level you are mentally. Or else you might, you know what I mean, open the door and make somebody realize even if they are upset that that's the truth. And they'll come back and they'll let you know like you're right, you know what I mean. Straight up, you're right. And that's what you hope to get. That's all you can do is hope to get that. But if you don't, then you did your job. That'll help you know also that you don't separate yourself from another person that is not willing to grow mentally and not willing to communicate with you. Because what good is a person that's not willing to communicate in your life? It won't do you any good long term. So uh, if I could tell you one thing, then I'm just letting you know, communicate. If anything, if you don't know how to communicate, I mean, just look up videos on how to communicate. It's anything. Whatever you got to do, read a book. Go get counseling. Whatever you got to do, homie, you know, write me. You can write me. Subscribe to my page and like it. You know what I mean? I don't know if you can comment, comment. And I uh, keep on posting videos from my experience, from what I got, and we'll go from there. So until then, hey, I wish y'all the best, baby.